exercise 10.5. This will bring us to learning objective number 5 and learning objective number 6. Let's see what we have. Happy Valley Pet Products uses a standard costing system that applies overhead to products based on standard direct labor hours allowed for actual output of the period. During the recent year, the following data were collected, and we can see the data here. Total budgeted fixed overhead costs for the year were 40,000. Actual costs came in at 38. Budgeted standard direct labor hours were 10,000. Actual direct labor hours were 12. Standard direct labor hours allowed for the output were nine. Number one, compute the fixed portion of the predetermined overhead rate for the year. Okay, so we're only concerned with the fixed portion of the overhead uh, of the predetermined overhead rate for the year. And we need our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead. And we see that that is 40,000. And we need our denominator activity. We see that our budgeted direct labor hours were 10,000. Budgeted standard direct labor hours, 10,000. So, simple division at this point is $4 per direct labor hour. There's number one done. That wasn't so bad, was it? Number two, let's see what number two asks us to do. Compute the fixed overhead budget and volume variances. All right, well, our actual cost, our actual fixed overhead costs, were $38,000. Our budget, we originally budgeted for, is up here. See that? $40,000. So we budgeted for $48,000. We came in at, sorry, we budgeted for $40,000. We came in at $38,000. So we have a budget variance that is positive, that's in our favor. Sorry, it's negative. It's in our favor of $2,000. Favorable. Now we need applied. How much did we actually apply? Now the question says that we apply overhead based on the standard number of hours for the output determined. And we see that the standard direct labor hours allowed for this for the actual output were 9,000. So we applied 9,000 hours of overhead times our predetermined overhead rate for our fixed portion four dollars. So we applied thirty six thousand dollars. So we have a volume variance a volume variance of forty thousand to thirty six thousand. Forty thousand minus thirty six is positive four thousand. If it's positive it's unfavorable. So we actually incurred thirty eight. We applied thirty six so our total variance is $2,000 unfavorable. Did we overapply or underapply? If we actually incurred 38 and we applied 36, we underapplied by $2,000. So we have to charge another $2,000 uh, to our uh, work in process or our inventory accounts. There's 10.5. Exercise 10.6, Variable Overhead Performance Report. Hastings Company bases its Variable Overhead Performance Report on the actual direct labor hours of the period. Data concerning the most recent year, which ended on December 31st, are as follows. We're given a budgeted direct labor hours of 42,000. Actual direct labor hours came in at 44,000, and the standard direct labor hours allowed were 45 thousand. So what I've done here on the spreadsheet is our actual costs are based on 44,000 direct labor hours. The very first sentence of the question says Hastings bases its variable overhead performance report on the actual direct labor hours of the period. So we need to do a budget for 44,000 even though the first line of data given to us is budgeted direct labor hours were 42,000 it bases it on the actual hour, so we're going to use the 44. Then what we want to do is a budget based on the standard costs. 
the standard amount of hours allowed for the output times the standard cost. So the three columns we have are actual, actual, actual direct labor hours representing actual costs. The second column will be actual direct labor hours at the standard cost. And the third column will be the standard direct labor hours at the standard cost. So let's go ahead and calculate that. For our budget, what we need to do is we need to multiply our standard cost per item, indirect labor, supplies, and electricity, by the actual amount of labor hours incurred, which was 44,000. And that gives us 39.6. We can drag that cell down, and there we go. A budget based on 44,000 direct labor hours should have incurred total variable overhead costs of 48,400. We spent 50,700. We can see right away we came in over budget. But let's go to the last column, which is standard by standard. This here is saying that we should have incurred 45,000 hours times the standard rate. So it'll be our standard rate multiplied by 45,000 hours. And we will drag this cell down. Our total flexible budget. The total is actual, actual, minus standard, standard. Again, let me repeat. This is actual direct labor hours at actual cost. This is standard direct labor hours at standard cost. So the total is the difference between actual, actual, and standard, standard. So it is simply 42,000 minus 40,000. And we do the same thing all the way down. Now, we're in a position to determine whether it's favorable or unfavorable. Remember, if it's positive, it is unfavorable. That is positive as well, so that's unfavorable. Here we have a negative sign making it favorable, and we're ending with 1,200 unfavorable. Let's break that down. Based on the standard cost for the output that we produced, Indirect labor should have come in at 40,500. It came in at 42. It came in $1,500 higher. That's unfavorable. Same argument applies for supplies, but for electricity, we see that the standard should have been 2250. But it came in at 1800, so we were favorable there. Now we can break it down into a spending variance and an efficiency variance. The spending variance compares our actual direct labor hours at the actual cost with the actual direct labor hours at what it should have cost, the standard cost. So we can see that this is really just actual, actual minus actual standard. Sorry, I did that wrong. Equals actual, actual minus actual standard. There we go. And we'll just drag that down. And what do we have here? We have an unfavorable 2400. We have an unfavorable 300, but we have a favorable 400. So our spending variance is unfavorable by $2,300. In other words, we spent, based on a budget of 44,000 direct labor hours, we actually spent $2,300 more at that level, at that activity level, than what the budget says we should have. We spent more on each item, except for electricity. Now let's do our efficiency variance. Our efficiency variance looks at the standard costs for the actual hours versus the standard costs for the standard hours. So we're really looking at just the difference between the actual hours and the standard hours in our performance. So that would be here minus there. And we can carry that all the way down. So that's negative 900. That is favorable. That is negative 150. It's favorable. Negative 50 is favorable. And our negative 1100 is favorable. Now, we knew that that would be favorable. Why? Because given the output, for standard output, we should have used 4,500 direct labor hours. We actually only used 44, so we were more efficient by 1,000 direct labor hours. Well, if you multiply each of these variables by 1,000, you'll get each of these. So there we go. These are all favorable. 
The net difference, 2,300 unfavorable on a spending variance, 1,100 favorable on an efficiency variance. The difference between those is 1,200 unfavorable. And I think that sums up number 10.6, and it does. There we go.